guys, I am back with a new video, another haul video. Haul videos are going to be coming back to back to back. Um, so be on the lookout for another one after this one. But this time I'm bringing you my very first home decor haul video. I don't think I've ever done one of these. But I was really excited to share some of the things that I have picked up to redecorate um, here in my house. So um, hopefully you guys like these type of videos. If you do, thumbs up so I know to keep bringing them along because I'm still going to be doing some more shopping for it. So let me know. So I just recently, really recently made a trip to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is amazing. If you're not following them on Instagram, you should because you will find a lot of amazing inspiration just like Pinterest for decoration. And if you go to the store online, you pretty much will find anything and everything that you probably are looking for because they have everything for every corner of your house. So it is absolutely the best. So let's just jump right in so this is not too long and let's just get started. Okay, so I pretty much picked up mainly a lot of, I know you guys are like, what is going on? I have it all here because it's a lot. Um, I mainly picked up a lot of um, kitchen decor, some pieces for like an art wall that I'm gonna create in my living room and that is about it. So let's get started on it. So the first one I have is this one laying on me right here and it is this um, wooden like frame board. So it says eat, it's really large, so you can't really like see the whole thing. But not to worry because once I put everything up, I will be filming, well, once I put everything up, I'm gonna add part of this video, is gonna be the aftermath, so you'll see the way I set it up and how it looks, so just bear with me, you will see the whole entire thing once it's already up. And what I was going for, um, it is like a farm, countryside inspired decor. I've always been a fan of the farmer sinks. I don't know if it's maybe some of you guys are familiar or not, but it's like those sinks that are really like um, long and they go really deep in. So I currently don't have one. That's my dream kitchen right there, but that is something that I'm going to have. And I just love the decor and everything that comes with, with all that, like to um, decorate around that stuff. So... Right now, that seems to be trending, which is better for me because I find a lot of more pieces that are out there because that's going on right now. So you will see a lot of that sort of inspired, like this piece that I have here. I can't remember the exact name for this, but it is this sign here that says home that's also gonna be in a kitchen wall of mine. Um, this metal thing here is really popular when it comes to that type of decor. And I wanted to have this incorporated in there and I also wanted this pinwheel. It has so many like really like huge pinwheels to put up, but I I did pretty I wanted something a little bit more subtle. So when I seen this sign, I thought it was perfect because it incorporates it here in the O for the home, and then it has like the, the background of it is also the same thing, and it's wooden, so it goes with everything that I'm putting up. It's like wooden, and it goes with my table as well. So I picked this one up, and then you just hang it like this. I thought it was so cute. So that is that. And then let me continue with the kitchen stuff because it's like all over the place. Then I have this um, like, I don't even know what it's called, like a plant holder, I guess, but it's really humongous. It's where you also hang on the wall. And again, it is the same material that it looks sort of like it's rusting already. And I got like full uh, plants to go in here. I try to go for the ones that um, I try to pick out some that can go here that will last me all year long. I'm only going to switch on I think for Christmas time because I seen it also on Hobby Lobby and their Instagram the way they had it um, different ways. So I got these. I got ones that can last me all year long and then I'll switch them out during Christmas time so I can look more Christmassy. But I really like this so much. It's going to be next to this home Fine, and let me just show you guys the flowers I'm gonna put in there. It is these flowers. So it's gonna. Oh wait, it's not these, but they'll come along. These over here are these faux plants that I'm gonna be putting in inside these planters that go hanging in the wall that are from Target that I'll share with you guys right now in these boxes. So it is like these little. Um, I don't even know if they have an actual name, which is floral here. But this is what they look like. So this is for one of them, and then you just place it inside and. It sticks out really nice. And then I got this other one, which this one is more of my favorite one. 
This one has more of a round thing to put inside, but it has like these dry like faux vines and then these little like leaves here. So this will go inside of another one. Again, I'm going to show you guys the aftermath. I didn't want to get anything real because... I don't even know if I have a green thumb or not, to be honest with you guys. I've never really tried to keep a plan alive. But I just, like, I don't have the time to be worrying about, you know, watering plants and all that good stuff. So I'm doing everything faux. So I really wanted to do succulents, but they didn't really have larger size succulents. Well, I'm not sure they did. or They probably did, but I don't have to find any that I liked. But I, that's what I initially wanted to do. But I found those and I thought they would work just as well. And then these white flowers over here are going to go in this, um, in this, let me show you guys, in this white pitcher here. So we're going to stick out like that. So I'm going to put these inside of this one. And it says Farm Fresh. And this is going to go on top of um, a little shelf that I need to uh, put in the wall. And it's going to go on top of like this to decorate. And then the flower is going to be sticking out. I wanted initially a just plain white picture. But then I sent this one. And I just thought it was so cute. The writing. And it has a black. And I don't know. I just thought it was cute. I, I, I didn't mind it saying Farm. Because it goes with the theme anyway. I have got four of these. So it's four of these that are going to go inside this, like this. So like this. So it's going to be four of them coming out like that. So as you can see, they're like just regular flowers. You know, the colors are really subtle. It's nothing too bright or nothing too, you know, it's just perfect for like an all year round type of thing. So I thought those, um, these were perfect for that. So then to also put in my, sh in the little shelf, I got this little like wooden frame I guess it says thankful grateful blessed you know just a really cute reminder and again it's wooden and I thought again the colors are also pretty much going with what I'm going for the wood the black and the white and then I got this one that says milk egg and butter that was just cute something simple not too I didn't really want anything with like roosters or anything I was like that's a little bit too much this I think it was really cute, so I got that. And then I got this teeny one. This was the first one I seen and I just fell in love with it. It's this little teeny one. It says farm fresh dairy, milk, butter, and cream. I thought it was really cute. I I don't know. And then the wooden too, so I thought it was really, you know, perfect. And then let me show you guys the frames that I got. So I got these frames because I'm gonna do an art wall. And I only picked out it's one like silver looking one, I guess. The rest are white and I picked picked up one black frame because I wanted it to be it's gonna be the center and like the rest all around it so that way it can the black can sort of stand up so this first one is this black and white cactus I love succulents and cactus so this is why I picked up this one it's really simple like photography and this is my black one and these are just black and white succulents can you see just black and white succulent again white with the black and then the black and white photograph in the middle and then I got this other like color color cactus but it has a white frame if I find these online because you can shop online I'll link them down below as well then I got this one that's white but it has like white um, lettering and it'll keep life simple so it's just a really nice reminder, you know, to just keep life simple. Thought it was cute. And a lot of this inspiration for the art wall I got from the Hobby Lobby Instagram. Some was Pinterest, mainly the Hobby Lobby. They had this art wall put together um, and it's exactly pretty much what I wanted. I just switched out two frames for other two that of my liking. Like this one, this one that I'm going to show you wasn't in the, in the Instagram picture, but I really liked it. It's like this, I don't even know what animal it is and I'm going to have it up. Animal, I think. I need to look it up before because somebody's like, oh, what kind of animal it is? I don't even know. I just have it up in my wall. But it is like a, has like the flowers and like the horns and I love this stuff too. I actually want like the actual like bone structure looking one and put it somewhere. Or 
I don't know. I like this stuff too. That's like my jam. So I have one of these sort of looking one. Um, it looks like a deer, the one I have. Like deer antlers. I have one in, up in my in my bedroom. But this is an actual frame, and like the actual full thing. Or is it a deer? Maybe it's a deer. It's an animal. I don't even know what it is. I need to look it up before you're like, girl, you're putting something up. You don't even know what the heck you're putting up. So that is it for Hobby Lobby. So again, you guys should really check it out. At least follow their Instagram and check it out and see how you guys like it. They have so much stuff. It is amazing. And then I picked out um, four things from Target, two that I already have. And I just, they're kind of heavy. So I didn't even want to like, I already have them set. So I'll show you guys that one. I'm showing you guys the aftermath. And it's one, it's like my clock that just tied. I think it's perfect to tie in the entire kitchen. I'll show you guys that after. I picked up these plates i got these stuff online just because i came across them on instagram and yes you know i'm on instagram you guys always see me posting um i saw that on instagram so i just went straight to it and i just purchased purchased them and then i got four the i'll just show, show you guys one because they're all the same and it is these cute little plates here with this floral design i love floral it has like these yellow and blue florals and then the white background but more like a pearl beige kind of color and then inside it has like this, these designs i just thought these little bowls were perfect for like fruit or oatmeal or ice cream even because i love ice cream um acai bowls you know all that good stuff it's perfect for it and it ties in with my um the rest of my kitchen i was trying to think of the word and i still can't think of it but like you know the rest of my dishes and all that stuff these are perfect and they're only $3.99 and look how cheap they are they look like they're worth a lot more but they're only $3.99. I ordered the, the wall planters that I'm going to be hanging both plants that I'll show you guys. From Project Oh my god, Project 62 has amazing stuff at Target. I just want to bring like the whole collection. So it is these planters. This is essentially what it sort of, sort of look like. And I'm going to hang them in my... I want to hang them in my art wall. But I don't know if they'll fit in the wall that I'm thinking. So if not, I'm going to put them in the kitchen. But... These are the ones I'm going to be hanging. They're super cute. And I am a sucker for white and gold. I love white and gold. Like, that's, I want to have my entire house white and gold. I just love it. I love, I love white. It's my favorite color. It's weird, but I love white. I love white in pretty much anything. Shoes, clothes, decor. And that is it for the decor haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. I'll be doing another one really soon with more goodies that I find. My next mission is plants. I want to fill my house with plants. I just feel like they bring so much life, you know, into your home. So that's my new my new mission. I'm thinking IKEA. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Turn on the notification bell because videos are coming your way. Um, and then also uh, leave me a comment below what's your favorite piece from the haul, and I will try to link everything down below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. I forget to mention these real quick. I bought these at Ross. They're like $8. And look at how cute they go with all the decor that I'm going to... Well, that I put up for um, like countryside farm decor. They're just perfect. So I have two of these. I also forgot to mention this one that we found at Hobby Lobby. I've been wanting to find something to put the napkin so they can be at the table. And this is perfect because it's made out of that um, like metal tin can sort of... Um, material and has a little thing and then it locks the napkins in there so that's that